Dean Mongorin, for joining us from today. My name is uh, Agil Kitubanatu. I am a research project manager in open infrastructure specialist at Open Air, and I will be facilitating the seventh community call. And we are thrilled to welcome you to this special call edition, the Open Air Connect and Monitor joint uh, community calls. Uh, our agenda today includes the following topics uh, connect and monitor the customized dashboard for research initiatives, novel indicators for research assessment, and the feedback and for the QA from the community. And please feel free to post any questions you have in the chat box. I'll be posting the rolling minutes again uh, for your reference. And please kindly note that this meeting is being recorded. And uh, if you prefer not to be included in the recording, please turn off your camera and microphone. And of course, after our expert presentation, we will have a Q&A session. And without uh, any further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce our expert speaker today, Alessia Bardi. Alessia is the Open Air Connect Service Manager and also works in the Open Air Monitor for Recent Infrastructure. Alessia, the digital floor is yours, please. Thank you. So I will share my screen. Okay. Can you confirm that you can see my screen? We can see your screen, yes, confirm. Okay, perfect. So without further introduction, let's go to the topic for uh, this community course because we have a lot of things to uh, to show you, to, to, to discuss with you. So uh, we will start with an introduction to the bundle of Open Air Connect and Monitor for Research Initiative. And then we will give you some news about both Open Air Connect and Open Air Monitor, because there are many things going on uh, from the technical side. So the bundle, uh, what we think is important, uh, this bundle of two services of Open Air, because with, with Open Air Connect, you can gather all research products of your research initiatives in one place. So you, got, so you get uh, a single entry point for uh, research products discovery and outreach for your research initiative. And of course, not only discovery, uh, but also you can use Connect as a way to uh, promote open science among your uh, research initiatives uh, and uh, clearly exploit the integration with that we have with other open science tools, which like the Zenodo, ORCID, uh, Crossref, and, and so on and so forth. On the other side, we have Monitor, and Monitor is very important for assessment. So thanks to the charts and statistics you can see in the monitor dashboard you are able to track for example the open access cost you have a map of collaborations of your researchers and in general you can get the figures the numbers that you need to um, to create a good storytelling about your research initiatives so the combination of the two is uh, is very important to have a comprehensive uh, view of your research initiative. So how does it work? Uh, with Connect, you get a community gateway, a portal, and as community managers, you have access to a management dashboard where you can configure your gateway. And with this configuration, you can define the criteria uh, to identify the products that are relevant for you. So those that have been produced, for example, by your research infrastructures or those that are um, produced by the researchers in your network. So these criteria are applied on the open air graph and uh, the products that satisfy the criteria are tagged are tagged for your research initiative, for your community, and they are made available via the uh, Open Air Connect gateway, uh, via the Open Air API, and the Open Air Monitor dashboards. And in addition, you will also get the, the snapshots of the metadata of those products uh, available uh, under a CC BY license, so you can use it for whatever you want for example, for further analysis that go beyond what uh, you have available in Monitor, for example. So what's the process? 
you start by configuring your gateway, not only uh, for the look and feel that you can adapt to the branding, let's say, of your, of your research initiative, but you can also select, uh, as I said before, the criteria uh, for identifying the products that are important for you. And uh, you can do this by uh, specifying, for example, the affiliations, uh, the funding projects, the data sources from which uh, the products are available, uh, and, and other kinds of criteria. Then we go into the phase of quality check, coverage and quality check. And this phase is very important. And in fact, uh, it's something that we do <laughs> together with the research initiative uh, continuously. So we uh, check the compliance of data sources to the OpenAir guidelines. We ensure that they are integrated into the OpenAir graph as they should be. Um, we do together the curation of organizations because um, we get information about organizations not only from ROR.org, which is a registry of uh, research performing organizations, but we also get information about organizations from other registries like uh, Retridata, Open Door, and clearly we also have the, uh, the information uh, of organizations in the publications the affiliation of information. So uh, since we collect this information from multiple places, we have to somehow create in such a way that your organization is properly uh, represented in the open air graph and in your connect gateway. Uh, despite all this work, uh, sometimes uh, we still have some uh, luck in coverage. And this is because the metadata may not be complete. And uh, to overcome this problem, uh, we can develop a full text mining algorithm dedicated to your research infrastructure. So uh, basically what we do is that we look for hints that a publication is produced thanks, by, uh, thanks to your research initiative, looking in the full text of open access publications. So now that we have all the relevant content available uh, in the Connect Gateway, we can have uh, statistics, we can have charts about the research productions and other aspects about open science practices. And uh, you can have these charts in the Open Air Monitor. And this is again something that you can configure. So you can, for example, select the charts that you want to be uh, shown uh, to the public, or uh, you can also decide that some charts uh, you don't want to show you want only to be available for you and for your collaborators. Examples in place. Uh, we are already um, working on the bundles with the two uh, university alliances. Uh, one is the European University of Technology and another one is Aurora, but we have uh, others. So these are only two examples of university alliances that need a single entry point to uh, the research outputs of all the members of the Alliance. Plus, uh, they also have a monitor where they can see uh, statistics about the production and the open science uh, uh, aspects of the researchers of the universities of the Alliance. So said that, uh, we are not at the end of our uh, path. There are a lot of things to do. Uh, for example, in Connect, uh, you may wonder in, this, in the different search option that you have, where are the organizations? Indeed, currently there are not, uh, there is not the possibility of searching for organizations. So this is a feature that we will uh, add soon. After summer, we will have this functionality available and you will be able to uh, browse by organizations with a dedicated filter but you will also be able to search for organizations. And in this way, you will get in one page uh, the list of all research products of that specific organizations. And for Open Air Monitor, so how I have the charts for the University Alliance, but how do I get the charts for the organizations in the Alliance? 
So this is something, again, that is not available now, but we have work in progress because we are working on the concept of umbrella dashboard. So the idea is that the dashboard of the Alliance is the umbrella under which you can find also the dashboard about the organizations in the Alliance. So you can consider the um, umbrella dashboard as the main entry point. And then from there, you can reach all other, uh, you can reach the indicators about uh, all the different organizations. And this is what we are working on. So this is uh, a prototype that uh, my colleague Leonidas that we speak uh, in, in few minutes uh, uh, is working in the context of the Craft OA project. The Craft OA project is a project about uh, institutional diamond open access journals. So the prototype that you see, the beta version, in fact, that you see is uh, focusing on the publishers and the journals. So in this case, the umbrella dashboard is the publisher dashboard. And, uh, and from there, you can reach to the dashboard of the different journals of that publisher. So uh, by selecting browse journals, you get the list of journals of the, of the publisher. And if you select one of the journal, you see the monitor dashboard of that specific journal. And this uh, umbrella dashboard is being tested by Cerce from Croatia. Cerce is the uh, is the main, I would say, uh, platform provider for Diamond Open Access uh, in Croatia. Uh, so we have a good, uh, let's say, first tester of the different functionalities of, of this platform. Now, uh, let's start from the first technical news from Open Air Connect. Uh, we had a very important release uh, in June, and one of the main achievement was the the delivery of the home page plugins. So what are they? Uh, they allows you to really configure the home page uh, whatever you want. So you <laughs> now you are really going to the details. So uh, on the left you can see how the connect home page of your gateway uh, looked like before June and now it's how it looks like now. So you uh, you see that we have removed the tabs, so now we have a more concise, concise uh, um, way to show uh, the numbers of, of research products of your uh, research initiatives. But it's not only a matter of look and feel, it's really a matter of content that you can configure. As a manager, uh, you can go to the administration dashboard and then um, select pages and menus on the left, uh, then you can search for the home page, and here you will find the option to manage the plugins. And when you manage plugins, uh, you get a list of all the available plugins. Uh, clearly, you can also filter to show only those that are currently active, but by default, you will see them all. So you will be able to decide uh, which plugin, so which section of your homepage uh, you want to have uh, and configure it. So on the right, uh, you will find an add custom plugin. So these are very generic plugin that allows you to add, for example, um, a section with cards, uh, a section with a customizable paragraph of text and images, or uh, also whatever HTML text you want to add uh, in the home page of your gateway. So each plugin can be enabled or disabled, and it can be moved. So you can, uh, by clicking on up or down, you are able to move the, the content uh, displayed by this plugin uh, up or, or down. Uh, so to change position, basically. Uh, with the arrow, of preview, you can uh, see the preview of how um, the content in your homepage will, will look like with the current configuration. And with the edit button, you can configure uh, the plugin. So each plugin has different uh, configuration option. Uh, 
because uh, they have different features. They, uh, they are for different things. For example, the gateway information plugin, which is basically the box that shows the information about this gateway. So you can change the title, you can decide which information you want to show in the box or uh, which are the entities that you would like to appear uh, here. Um, you can also decide to have uh, a search bar integrated with this element uh, and also uh, the, um, the possibility to browse by uh, fields of science and sustainable development goals. Another plugin that is uh, very interesting, and I think that it really uh, improves a lot the deposit functionality of the Open Air Connect Gateway, uh, which is the functionality that suggests um, repositories to the, to the researchers, so uh, where they can uh, deposit their research products. With this plugin, basically, uh, you can say which are the data sources, which are the repositories or journals that you want to suggest to your researchers. So in this case, for example, the repositories of the University of Amsterdam is suggested uh, for the position and it's also used by the Connect Gateway as content source. And this means that everything that is collected from this repository uh, is included in the Connect Gateway. But what does it mean that the repository is suggested for the position? It means that in the home page, uh, you will give uh, you will highlight the existence of this repository, and also in the deposit functionality, uh, it will be very clear for researchers that uh, this repository is a good repository, is a trusted repository, and that uh, the manager of the community suggests. Uh, for the position. So this is really an advancement with respect to what we had before, where we basically provided only uh, the list of uh, data sources that are uh, available, available in open air. The final example is the statistics plugin. Uh, this is also a very new functionality that we have because now all the gateway uh, will have as the possibility to enable this plugin, which contains, which shows uh, up to uh, six indicators. And these indicators were selected uh, based on the results of a poll that we did uh, in the previous community call. So uh, basically you will be able to show the number, uh, sorry, the percentage of open access publications, of open access data sets, um, uh, the data sets with the persistent identifiers, the numbers of total downloads based on information coming from the usage counts uh, uh, service and, uh, and the map of publications per country. So these are all the charts that you will be able to show if you want, because uh, as you can see here on the left, um, the plugin can be configured to show only uh, a subset. So you really can decide what you do. If you want to have an overview um, of the plugins and how they can be configured for your own page, you can take a look at the Netherlands Research Portal. Here you can find the link uh, because here uh, several plugins have been already uh, configured and uh, enabled. In the slides that uh, we will share with you, uh, clearly there is the list of all the available plugins that are available today. Um, what I would like to stress is that this list is not static, so we expect to uh, increase uh, the number of uh, plugins uh, and so sections that you can add to your homepage in the near future, and we are open for your suggestions. So we already say this, discussed a lot uh, this list with the uh, team of the Netherlands portal and uh, the Aurora uh, University Alliances. Uh, so we welcome also your feedback. So if it's, there is something that you would like to show in your uh, homepage uh, that you cannot do with uh, the available plugins, 
please let me know and we will uh, accommodate your uh, your need so uh, the second technical news uh, is about open air monitor and new indicators for research initiatives and uh, uh, I will give the floor to my colleague, Leonidas Pispiringas, who will show the, the new indicators in the monitor dashboard. If I can find a way to stop my screen sharing, clearly. Okay, find it. Leonidas, uh, we cannot hear you if you are uh, speaking. Can you hear me now? Yes, great, thank you. Okay, okay, sorry. Thank you, Alessia. And now I will go through the briefly to to show you the new and the, some revised indicator we have for the research and initiatives in the open air monitor. First of all, we have the composite indicators in the open science section, where we have the percentages of openness, of scores on openness, findability, and fairness. Where on openness and findability, we have the average share of open access research output in the openness score and the average share of research output with a position identifier for the findability score. And regarding, regarding the fairness score, we calculate it based on the average share of research output with the metadata completeness. We have specific fields that we use to calculate the score. We have the title, the publisher, abstract, the year of publication, authors, and position identifiers. And of course, this uh, indicator signifies the presence of the metadata, not the quality. Apart from the position identifier, where we have specific inclusion criteria. We also have incorporated indicators for the sustainable development goals, aiming to reflect the research story, the research's societal impact. We have, a, uh, we have an indication or indicated charts uh, such as the publications by SDGs and the average download per publication by uh, SDGs. There are also several other charts in the SDGs section in the impact section in uh, the dashboards. We have also incorporated additional indicators by Break, break, break it down by field of science classification. More details about this classification you can find on the Open Air Explorer. These are scholarly fields that are, uh, this engagement is intended to offer a clear understanding of the trends and variations across scholarly disciplines, various scholarly disciplines, scientific domains. These indicators uh, are not in a specific, uh, do not have a, a section in the dashboard, but they are spread among all the sections. Inside the dashboard, uh, indicated uh, charts and publications by fields of science over time. We have the most open fields of science by number of gold open access publications. We have uh, the breakdown of publications by field of science levels by levels one and two in a single chart. And we're currently working on uh, some uh, technical improvements on these charts. And we, in the near future, we will offer uh, these indicators with, uh, drill, with charts with drill down functionality. And of course, we have also the publications by field of science by level one and by open access route. Well, we have the green and the gold hybrid and bronze. And as I have already said, these indicators are spread among all the sections of the dashboards. We also have a chart 
with combined uh, indicator where we combine the sustainable development goals and the field of science. We have revised the APC, the article processing charges section indicator, apart from the total and average APC per publications and all the charts that we have already incorporated. We have, we are going to incorporate uh, charts regarding APCs versus publications that are under transformative agreement. And uh, we are also going to incorporate, and this might be of interest not only for the individual universities, but also for the research initiatives, the two categories that uh, we are going to differentiate in the APC section because we have uh, the APCs that are reported to open APC by any co authors institution. And we also have the APCs that are reported by the, in the specific, by a specific institution in open APC. The difference is that in the first category, we cannot identify who actually paid these article processing charges. For example, uh, uh, we cannot identify that uh, the institution that uh, has a, a co author paid the article processing charges for the publication. But in the second case, where the APCs are reported by the institution, there we can identify and we are sure that these APCs were actually paid by the institution. And of course, an important thing to also get to, to spread the word in all the universities under your alliances, alliances is that the OPC platform depends solely, solely on the institutions supplying their APC, their APC data, data. And it is very important for the institutions to, uh, to start a collaboration with uh, OpenAPC. And we are here to, to, to assist you in this, uh, in this matter. So we have a few charts regarding the APCs versus under the, uh, the publications that are under transformative agreements. This will be incorporated into the open air monitor in the next month. And the framework of the upcoming indicators, we are also going to have plan S indicators regarding the plan S initiative. I'm not going to, to go through the definition of uh, the plan S and uh, all uh, the other details, but I will go through the indicators where we have the breakdowns for the new publications that are in Diamond Open Access Journal, the ones that are under transformative agreements, the ones that are in published in transformative journals, and the gold open access period publications with article processing charges. The planet's metrics, of course, are focusing on the period of 2021 onwards and the publication that we have already mentioned, the categories that I have already mentioned. So thank you very much. Thank you, Lonidas, for uh, this nice overview of all the new indicators. It was a quick review, yes. <laughs> Yes, but now we have plenty of time for questions mm -hmm. uh, from the audience. So I Thank don't know. Thank you if... both. Thank you, Alessia and Rodinas. Uh, it was really uh, very, I think, um, useful to learn for all the, the the new advancements. And I already have received uh, one question for <laughs> for you but uh, i also see in the in the notes um the rolling minutes we can, I, I can post it that uh we have um a name but we don't have a question so maybe uh Francois, Francois, i'm sorry if i cannot pronounce your name very quick very properly maybe you would like to uh raise a, a comment or a question yourself thank you no thank you no it was not a question i, I thought it was just uh, the list of participants so i will uh, 
remove my name. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, okay. Hi, Francoise. Okay. It's good to see Hi, you anyway. Alessia. Uh, Alessia. No, maybe I have just one question, but I tried to to find the, the answer on, on your website about the, the origin of uh, fields of science taxonomy the, and the way you are applying this classification uh, to the all data sets of open air. Uh, I saw the, the uh, original uh, paper of uh, this classification. I would like to, to know better how you are using this classification uh, within the open air environment. Okay, thanks for the question because I, I'm not able to give you the technical details, but if you have the paper, the technical details are there. Um, so the, the taxonomy is based on the Frascati uh, taxonomy, which is the one used by the OECD. Uh, so the first level are, are the same as the Frascati taxonomy. Then um, for, the, for the other levels, the, the fourth and the fifth, for sure, uh, this is not really, uh, the, they are not terms from a taxonomy, but these are terms that are inferred uh, from the full text. So the, the idea is that with the first levels, we get a classification uh, according to a standard taxonomy, uh, but then the fields changed. So how, how can we, um, let's say, uh, have a classification that evolve together with science? So that this, uh, this layer that are, uh, this nested la layer try to accomplish that. Um, what we do is, uh, okay, the, the classification algorithm was uh, implemented by Athena Research Center. And uh, basically, Athena Research Center takes the uh, metadata from the open air graph about uh, the publications, so not only the open access ones, all the publications. It runs those algorithms, uh, which, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, strongly depends on, so on the availability of uh, references and citations. And, uh, this we, and these are information that we have uh, also via open citations. So the set of data that is available is a, is a big one. And we integrated this information in the open air graph and we show it in, in our portal. It's not updated every month, let's say, it's because it's very hard, uh, let's say, heavy to run. Uh, okay. uh, I see Adrian with a... Yes. Hello, everyone. Thank you for uh, your uh, quick presentation. Uh, I have still one question. Uh, I didn't uh, really understood if uh, the monitor uh, was available for each institution. Uh, is, is each ins institution um, able to create its own monitor or do we depend on uh, uh, like bigger monitors like Aurora and uh, such? Okay, so um, we have a, let's say a, agreements with some of some research alliances like Aurora, so we created a monitor for them, and uh, we can create also monitors for the single institutions. Now you can ask for an institutional dashboard, even if your institution does not belong to any uh, university alliance. So it's not a problem. Uh, we have a dashboard, uh, but not a monitor. I'm not sure we. Um, I'm not sure how to configure it to have like uh, everything we saw, like um, figures and such. Mm -hmm. And uh, which organizations are you? Sorry, Adrian. Um, University of uh, Paris East, Créteil. Um, okay. Um. So yes, you are in a university alliance. Mm -hmm. We are in yes. Aurora. No, uh, in Aurora. So, 
Okay, so I took a note about your interest about uh, the institutional dashboard for your university. And um, we are, uh, together with Maurice uh, van der Festen, we are in the process of setting up uh, uh, all the documents that are needed in order to continue uh, the provision of the services for Aurora. And for sure, uh, we will consider also the possibility to have the, the monitor for the single university in the Alliance. All right, thank you. It, it was just a question to, to know our possibilities, but uh, thank you very, very much for your answer. Thank you. Great, thank you. And uh, I would like to uh, go a bit on the, on the chat box where we had a question uh, from Jean uh, about the integration um, for uh, their Notice Explorer. But as I also advised Jan, um, maybe uh, he can or they can uh, ask our help desk or Lovitas will follow up. Or do you have Replied. something? Uh, I reply to, to the chat. I yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we will talk in the I, afternoon. Yes. So, okay. So, there is. Um, okay, great. Thank you, Lovitas. And then we have uh, another um, question uh, from uh, Maurice about the planning. Uh, I'm not sure if you would like to speak up. Here, maybe not, so I'm just going to wait. Um, the yeah, I can oh. speak up, so yeah, oh, okay. so yeah, it was just a question for Leonidas. Do you know is if there is a planning because it's a heavy compute process, I know, uh, uh to normalize these numbers for uh fields of science and SEG classifications for the number of publications, citations, and downloads, uh, because uh, you see uh, a large spike in the uh, for example, SDG three health uh, and well being, uh, and that uh, if if you go on the absolute numbers, you think a, a university is really uh, doing a lot in uh, the area of uh, uh, good health and well being, but it might be just uh, the, the classification is not as good for the others. Um, uh, uh, so a normalized figure will will even that out. Uh, and uh, so you can uh, have better measurements on what the profile is of a university, for example, compared to the world average or European average or uh, country average or whatever. So you can see what what actually the the, the profile is of a university. On the university level, uh, first of all, uh, let, me, let me say that we don't have a one hundred percent coverage neither for the fields of science nor for the SDGs. And if you also go to to the SDG section in the dashboard, you will see the number of publications that are related to, to an SDG compared to the number of publications for your research initiative. And uh, currently we have a, a little coverage, but uh, we're trying to expand it and we are through the mining process, we're expanding the coverage as we go. And I believe that when we have adequate adequate coverage, then we can also discuss the normalization. And we can also discuss uh, the, even for indicators on, uh, on country level or anything else that you might be of interest, that might be okay. of interest in. Thanks. Thank you, Maurice and Lovinas. Um, I would like to uh, encourage you to speak up. Uh, maybe you have questions or even uh, comments uh, on specific uh, elements or features, or maybe Alessia and Lovinas, if you would like to highlight something more. Um, also, soon here, there are only one more. One small. Now, what I can do is uh, read to I would like to invite uh, the community managers to uh, to go to the administration dashboard and check the new the new functionality that they have because I really would like uh, them to try and if there are any problems in using the, the functionality uh, please let me know and I am also in the process of uh, preparing uh, documentation. So any feedback uh, would be very helpful for me to, to provide. Uh, 
uh, a complete documentation that hopefully doesn't get old too often, <laughs> too soon, sorry. That's very important, I think. Definitely uh, some feedback should be useful. But th thank you, Leslie. Do you also have any comment on this? Would you like to highlight? Yes, and also any any comment or feedback regarding the the dashboard, the new indicators, mm. anything that has to do with the data quality, the charts, anything that is, uh, we want you to, to to give us feedback. It's very important for us to work on this. I mean, definitely, and it is a community call, and uh, I mean the community should have a saying more than uh, just uh, of unique, but also, yeah, so that's, I totally agree. Uh, so, um, so can I, uh, so if, if you want uh, feedback, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's good to know where we can send the, the feedback and can it be tracked? Is there a backlog? Is there some kind of, you know, um, um, system that is publicly available that others can track what kind of features are passing through to the next sprint or whatever you or how to how you organize yourselves to <laughs> to uh, uh, to involve the community in 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 getting uh, co-develop these uh, the new features or or uh, work on issues is there a github uh, issue page or I don't know so okay for uh, for for requests, uh, you can certainly use the the help desk that we that we have or the contact form of OpenR Connect. And uh, for OpenR Connect, I keep uh, a Trello board that I will share the link on the chat. You can find it also in the homepage of Connect. But uh, uh, roadmap. There we go. So this is the Trello board of Connect where I consider which are the activities that uh, are in progress, what is planned, what we are considering, because sometimes we have requests that we are not sure <laughs> if they are feasible or, or not. So we give time to the developers to understand uh, if this is feasible. And uh, we also try to align the requests that we get uh, from uh, from you uh, with other projects that we are running because uh, for example uh, Open Air Connect is very much uh, involved uh, in the Silic project or the GraspOS project uh, so uh, whenever we have requests from uh, from the community we also try to match with the requirements that we get from the projects uh, so this is also a way to uh, enlarge uh, the community we work with. Thanks. And Le Leonidas, do you, do you have also like a, this Trello board? Yes, we also have a Trello board for Open Air Module, which needs an update after the latest uh, uh, indicators that we have. Uh, we have built, of course, the Open Air Monitor uh, most, most more based on uh, your feedback regarding the charts and the quality of the data that we show on uh, on the dashboard. That is why, uh, though I will share with you in the next days the Trello board, uh, though we use more the help desk and the contact form and the one-on-one -on -one meetings in order to, to address uh, these issues that we have with the quality of data and indicators and the charts. Yes, you can share it. Also, you can post on the rolling minutes uh, with uh, as a reference there. And um, we have a, a new uh, question from Alban Thomas. And the question is, do you publish a kind of quality report for the whole open air graph and for a community? Uh, so a uh, report for the quality of the graph. Um, no, we don't publish any report. 
it would be also hard for us to select uh, which quality indicators are relevant uh, because it really depends on the use that you want to do. Uh, but this is an interesting, a very interesting uh, aspect that we need to consider. So for now, the, the check we do before we publish the graph are on the metadata completeness and uh, on the, uh, let's say, on, on the trends of some numbers. For, for, so for example, we check that the number of uh, publications funded by the European Commission is uh, increasing, but it's not exponentially increasing, for example. Or uh, we check that uh, the number, uh, I don't know, of... Uh, uh, the number of affiliations is also increasing. So it means that we are getting more and more information from the repositories to ensure that we do not lose uh, content from big aggregators like uh, La Referencia or La Recolecta. So we, we, we try to uh, check these things. Uh, check, no, we try. We check all these things before we publish the new version of the graph. Uh, but you're right, we don't publish uh, this check anyway. So thank you for the for the ideas to be considered. Uh, yeah, can, can I add to that? Because it's really interesting and I need to, um, and there's also, also a question here in, in the Netherlands is also to steer on quality control um, of, of, the, of the metadata and one of the things that that uh, I would like to see is a, an overview uh, of the network or the, of the sources that we are uh, having and are, are, are harvesting in the community to have an overview on which sources or the, the, at least the harvest, the validator results from the other sources. Now I only can see as a, um, uh, as a uh, my own repository, uh, the results, the validation results, but I cannot see it from the other uh, sources uh, as a uh, what is it curator of a portal, and I would like to see maybe the in the in the management interface of the portal uh, the validation results of the of the repositories I am harvesting, mm. so I can have a feel of what is the quality of the metadata that I'm getting into, and I can actively ask repository managers to um to to upgrade their um uh, uh, the metadata quality for example just a thought yes uh, a... but it's an interesting thought because i think that when we will have the umbrella dashboard uh, you will be manager of the umbrella dashboard and um when we we'll, we will have them the aurora for example will be linked uh, to all the university of the alliance, so we know um, we will know these uh, these relationships only uh, also from the point of view of the authorization. So we will have to investigate with Open Air Provide if we can uh, do something like this. But I think it will be possible because your role will be uh, a role of umbrella manager so somehow you will be supervising all also the university within the alliance so thank you for this explicit uh, request thank you alessia and boris for bringing it up um if i may uh there's a new question uh, yes exactly thank you how are you so it's a question from leo and so um, they say, so far the monitor is focusing on articles. Any plans to monitor uh, research data and software as well? Which I guess it uh, speaks for also coverage of diversity, Leonidas, would you like to? And I will say also, if you would like to uh, add up on something, please feel free to. Yes, yeah. we already have coverage in the indicator for research data and software. And other and research data, products. I don't know. And, and also other research products in the dashboard. So, uh, if you would like something uh, more detailed, I don't know. 
we can discuss. Maybe when we present, okay, we emphasize so. on the publications, but you know, if you go in the monitors, there are sections for all of these. In the, in the research output and the open science sections, there are sections for data sets and software. And we text mine as well. And other research, yes, and other research products also. Okay, and do you have plans to integrate them to see the relations between articles and the data sets and the software, etc.? So reproduction could be specified. So you mean indicators about uh, the, um, the relationship between uh, data sets, software, and publication? Yeah, exactly. And the links, yes. Yes. Yes, it, it is in our plans to, to have uh, yeah. uh, I mean, indicators in, in the future, yes. In, in the, the graph. Sorry to interrupt, Leonis. I mean, in the graph, we already have links between, I mean, um, there is uh, inference by propagation and there are some things that are linked together, but we don't have indicators for these things. That's true. So we should. Thank you, Jordan and Harris, for uh, them. Uh, the question and also the, the feedback and, and um, so uh, before oh yeah Maui's um, just sent a, a note of um, dashboard so uh, so that's data sets from the Netherlands research board for example yeah sorry sorry that's uh, for Liwe sorry <laughs> yeah I pointed a link to uh, to, uh, to the dashboard with the data sets and many other things Mm -hmm. And that's. And then we have a comment from uh, Chris Bars from Gans that there are data sets that are uh, still uh, uh, missing. Yeah. And uh -huh. of course, it is a work in progress and it is a process. It's not an end point. So thank you so much for bringing it up. And we are monitoring. I mean, Alessia, would you like to add? So yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, I will check. It's I will check what's going on with the missing data sets. Yeah, yes, I will get back to you uh, in the next days. So yes, thank you, Alicia. And um, uh, any other uh, comments because before we uh, wrap up, any questions or concerns you'd like to raise or highlight? would be a nice opportunity here. Of course, you can always shoot an email, but we're all here together. Yeah. So, oh, um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I, I know I, I'm very present here in the conversation. And I'm sorry for that. And hopefully others uh, will uh, feel free to, to, to join uh, the conversation as well in the future. And um, but thank you. Thank you for the, uh, for the elaborate um, uh, work that you have done. Um, also, um, we are discussing. Uh, I mean, this uh, this not this not this not come for free. I guess that uh, that you're doing all this. Can you say something about that as well? What your plans are for um, the, for making this sustainable? Yes, yes. Um, we are setting up, let's say, all our uh, plans, both for uh, connect and monitor. So. Um, we will offer three different plans for Connect uh, at different prices. And uh, this will um, allow us to cover uh, the, the operational costs uh, because we try to, let's say, cover the costs of other developments and, and research uh, that we do to progress uh, with implementation of the Connect Gateways we try to, to use the projects to do that. So the big cost, uh, is, let's, let's say, is taken from the projects, but for the operation of the single gateway, uh, we need um, we need to cover some costs. So we will have three plans that serve the different types of 
uh, research communities that uh, we covered so far. So that the basic plan and we'll have the, the basic functionality. Then we have the advanced that allows also to browse by uh, sub-community. So this covers the case, uh, for example, of uh, research infrastructures uh, that are organized in national nodes, for example. Um, and then we have uh, the premium plan, which is, uh, let's say, for uh, research networks, university alliances, uh, where you need uh, uh, to, to, to view your research outputs, not only for your alliance, for your infrastructures, but also for each members of the, uh, of the research network of the initiative. So these are the three plans. Um, and similar plans are available also for monitor. Clearly, if you choose a bundle, uh, then the prices will be lowest. So for example, um, you will not pay the, the Connect Gateway and the monitor separately, but we will offer it uh, at a special price. And I think my colleague, Julia Malaguarnera, who is responsible for the outreach and engagement in open air uh, will um, publish uh, the final plan uh, the final plans very soon and I mean... yes exactly thank you Lisa, for the elaborate and comprehensive uh, answer on that uh, it's a very important uh, topic the sustainability and the business plan the models uh, behind it, and uh, as you mentioned, uh, we will make this information soon public, clearly available, so everyone can can have a look. And um, I think now it's the time that we will need to uh, wrap up. Um, I'm just a bit concerned uh, on the time. Um, I will post again the um, again the uh, next community calls. Uh, you can. Um, them in the chat box and of course on our uh, website thank you everyone for participating uh, today it was uh, very lively and of course special thanks to Alessi and Leonidas for uh, the presentation and all the important information on the advancements um, really looking forward to seeing you in the next uh, one of the next community calls and please uh, send us an email anytime you have any questions Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.